the Jewish Muslim radio station that's building bridges in Bristol. Now, a unique and project in Bristol seems to have succeeded where many politicians have failed. Jews and Muslims have been working very closely together to launch Radio Salam Shalom. It's an online music and chat station exploring how the two cultures can better understand their common religious heritage. So how well does it work? Well, we sent Radio 1 DJ Nihal to find out. Broadcasting from Bristol, UK. These days, radio stations cater for all kinds of ages and tastes. I myself are gainfully employed by the BBC Asian Network and BBC Radio 1. But a new online station has taken together Jews and Muslims, two communities who, let's face it, don't normally see eye to eye, to create the radio station called Salam Shalom. You're going to have to do something, Charlie. I'm pushing that button now. Online around the world, 24 hours a day. This is Radio Salam Shalom. Farouk Siddiq is the co-founder of Radio Salam Shalom. In Bristol, there was absolutely no interaction between Muslims and Jews at any level. There was just, it was just nothing happening. Because there's about 600 Jews in the city. There's probably around 30,000 Muslims in the city. So I think it was a, the focus was on the Muslim community to reach out to the minority in this case. You're managing to do something that very few people, certainly virtually no politicians are managing <laughs> to do, to get Jewish people and Muslim people around a table and have a dialogue through friendship. Sure. How much do you think you're succeeding? I think we're doing very well. And it's probably and because how are you measuring that? I think because we're not politicians is why we're succeeding, actually. Right. I think it's, it, this is real grassroots. This has not come from above. Um, nobody's told us to do this. This hasn't been a government directive or... Um, the leaders of the community saying you need to do this. This has come from the grassroots. This has come from because ordinary people have realized that there's no contact between two different communities. And living in 21st century UK, that's not an option anymore. You know, this is a multicultural city. And if communities don't talk to each other, we've got no hope for a, a better society. Considering the history between Jews and Muslims and the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it seems like an unlikely partnership. So what exactly do they get to talk about? We've got uh, shows which are spiritual. Um, we've got shows which are really cultural. We've got a show cultural connection where you've got a, a mixed team, Muslims, Jews, coming together and saying, right, let's find a common word of the day. One in Arabic, one in Jewish, are they the same? Do they have the same meanings? As Muslims and Jews, we've got so much more going on mm. you know, for us. We've got mm. such an amazing history together. And it, it's quite sad that sometimes it's always overshadowed by the, uh -huh. um, the Middle Eastern crisis. Mm. Javid, a British Muslim, and Tal, an Israeli Jew, host a show together called Abraham Nexus. In Israel, you, can't, you would not have Muslim friends. I didn't know any Jewish person before I started coming to the radio station. And I think that's the reason I wanted to come, is to meet these people that we were supposed to hate. And that's the message I had from the media, really, that um, the Jewish people hated Muslims. There's another section in our programme that we've just added called It's Good to Talk, which is where we ask each other a question, that maybe a stereotype, or something that we always wanted to ask. OK, so what kind of questions do you ask each I think other? I asked Tal about Zionism and whether all Jewish people supported Zion the, the theory the, you know, of Zionism. And what was the difficult question you asked Javi? Uh, that wasn't the same problem, but what comes to mind now was about uh, oversensitivity. And I raised the Salman Rushdie issue. Uh, who's an author who I really, really like, and I read a lot of his books. And, uh, you know, I, I try to understand why uh, Muslims are so sensitive about... Um, the satanic verses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what kind of feedback do you get from people listening? We have, it's amazing. We've had emails from across the world. Um, people phone in, people Skype us. We have people that say to us, well, you know, it's often the people that are already participating in dialogue that need it the least. Um, but I think we've found that even amongst ourselves, even the fact that even though we are willing participants, you know, and we're not the hard to reach extreme uh, versions of, you know, our community, we still have such a level of ignorance um, in ourselves. So um, I, I wouldn't write it off as just, you know, preaching to the converted. <laughs> This amazing radio station is a great example of what can happen when universities, governments, and most importantly, individuals get together to foster interfaith dialogue. What remains to be seen is if, as its name suggests, 
this radio station can bring peace. Salam, shalom. Certainly a unique project in Bristol, and the phrase of the day seems to be, it's good to talk. So, Sanvas, do you think it'll work? Um, well, I think any interaction between Jews and Muslims, which doesn't really happen on a grassroots level, has got to be a good thing. I pick up the argument that it might be preaching to the converted, but to be honest, even if one person suddenly realises that, you know, by being a friend of somebody who's different, they talk to other people, it has to be a good thing, but it's not going to necessarily solve the problems of the media. Yeah, I was just going to say, will it actually make any difference long term? Uh, it makes a difference. I mean, these are all ripples in the pool. We all have prejudices, we all confront them, and uh, it's a good thing. And it was nice to meet someone who's actually finished the Salman Rushdie book as well. <laughs> well the first person That's you met. That's what I picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Anne, quick reaction from uh, you. Yes, I mean, obviously, a grassroots interaction between these mutually um, antagonistic groups, because they've become that way, is a good thing. Um, I belong to, I'm a goodwill ambassador for a charity which deals with Palestinian and Jewish children called Children of Peace. And I think, you know, we all try, but it's a pretty hopeless job in the Middle East. Here, I think it's a good thing and it will work. As Paul says, all ripples. Now you can find more details about Radio Salam Shalom on our website. It's bbc.co.uk forward slash heaven.